Hey everyone, Gage and Will here. We're sitting here with Scott, the animation director on Rainbow Six Siege. Scott, let me start by saying, last year you guys blew us away with this announcement. It was a huge game coming out of Ubisoft. Loved it from the conference. And now here we are again, and again, now we're seeing more gameplay, we're seeing different game modes, things like that. How's the uh, reception been among the community, or just everyone in general for video games? The response has been amazing. Uh, I think by sending out a closed alpha, which is some selected players, there's over 7,000 players that played. I wasn't one of them. What's up with that? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe you can get in on the closed beta. <laughs> but uh, no, it's been absolutely fantastic. Uh, lots of feedback. We watch how players play, uh, gathered all that data, asked them for feedback, and we've started applying it. So the game has started to be balanced based on what the community is asking for. And now, so you, the animation director, so are there any animations we're going to see from player-controlled people that we haven't seen in other video games, or how are you innovating the player movement in this game? I think what you're going to see is the player movement is uh, going to work with the destruction. Uh, also, because each operator has their own special gadget, obviously you're going to see special animations that go together with that, but what's most important, like other Ubisoft games, it's all about signs and feedback and making sure that the player clearly knows what they have to do or where they can or can't place a breach charge, for instance. Wow, that's awesome. Um, Will? So what was the inspiration behind like the artwork and, and the animation with the game? Where did the original concept come from? So we actually follow uh, counter-terrorist units, real-life counter-terrorist units. Uh, that's the source of our inspiration. You know, the, the heroes that enter into these siege situations and, and take care of things in very small teams. Uh, you know, they put their life on the line. So that's kind of where our fantasy comes from is, you know, living out the role of a, of a CTU, but topping that off with a cool gadget to try and play the game through. Now obviously, gameplay is very important in any game. How does how did the uh, you know the frame rate, the, the animation, all those things come into play, especially when you're dealing with uh, you know six people trying to or five people, whatever the you know the amount of people you have on the same team working together as a unit. How did that come into play in, in like the actual gameplay? In the actual gameplay, it's really important for precision to attain that 60 frames a second. And from the start, the entire team, as they're developing, is focused on that. So uh, during development, uh, if it, we're not at 60 frames a second, let's take a pause for you know a brief amount of time, get everything in order, and we keep it running at 60 frames a second. Again, for that amount of precision. And it's very difficult considering all the pre procedural destruction. And then if you go into tarot hunting, you've got all the AI running around the map, plus on top of that, all the destruction. And then the AI updating dynamically based on where you put holes in the walls. Uh, it's pretty hard. So, so at, the, at the end of the day, what is the... Um overall goal? What do you want the players to experience with Rainbow Six? Uh, definitely want the player to experience tension and uh, once you get your hands on the game you'll really see that from the start when you get inserted into a map right all the way through until either if you make it to the end or if you die it's tense all the way through. Oh wow, so it's cranked to 11 the whole time? Cranked to 11 all the time. I mean our, our battlefields are actually indoors. Uh, it's not outside like like typical shooters so everything is very close quarters and that really affects gameplay and again the tension because walls are in nice and tight there's some holes that get blown and everything and it makes you have to change your tactics like on a dime sure sure uh, Scott I've got one last question for you what's your favorite part of the game my favorite part of the game is definitely the operators uh, all the selection that you have and really the dynamic between your operator and other players and how you can team up and then also when you're playing PvP not knowing really who's on the other side until the match starts and then having to update your team tactic based on that I think is absolutely fantastic. That's, that's I'm, I'm so excited to get my hands on this game finally. Uh, Will do you have anything else before we get well, out of here? You guys should be proud the game looks fantastic. Uh, we really can't wait to get our hands on it, much like millions of other people. So, um, do you have an ETA on the release date that we announced the release date yet? Yep, the release date is October 13th. Oh, wow. Awesome. Scott, thank you so much. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you for meeting with us. And all remember, all things Rainbow Six Siege and E3 coverage, make sure you stay on Press Start TV.